Palestinians in the blockaded Gaza Strip have attended a funeral ceremony for 18-year-old fisherman Ismail Abu Riala. The Israeli Navy shot and killed the teenager off the coast of Gaza on February 25th, while two other fishermen were wounded. Israeli forces kept his body for 17 days, refusing to hand it over to his family. Ismail's body was handed over on Wednesday evening following pressure on the Israeli regime by human rights organizations. Addressing the mourners, Hamas leader Ismail Haniya slammed the Israeli atrocities against Palestinians. This martyr is another witness to Zionist terrorism and the crimes of the Israeli regime. This regime has been killing our people and evading punishment. Ismail's family waited in agony for many days to give him a proper burial according to Islamic rituals. His distraught mother says she was finally able to bid farewell to her son. I'm happy to have him back even as a martyr. I missed him so much. Two days before his death he went fishing to put food on our table and I haven't seen him since then. I still can't believe that he's gone forever. Israeli attacks on fishermen deprive them of their right to work in violation of international human rights laws. Several crimes were committed here by Israeli forces. First they shot him while he was fishing, posing no threat to them. Then they left him bleeding to death and refused to hand over his body to his family. Fishermen come under attack on an almost daily basis. Fishing has traditionally been the only source of income for thousands of families across the tiny coastal sliver. Human rights organizations accuse Israeli forces of intentionally killing the teenage fishermen in an act that's viewed as a callous disregard for human life.